Hey, hello. How's it going? Not too bad. Ready for KubeCon? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hello. Hello. Should I? I'm gonna test the the streaming. Um. Good luck. <laughs> this is gonna be streamed straight live to face. Um. To to YouTube. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Tech security. All right, we are now live. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the handy with me. <laughs> Figured I would just drop that one in the chat so I don't uh, violate any code of conducts. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I, I am sitting in traffic about to drop off my child at school. Do you want to kick it off? And yeah, I'll, sure, sure. I'll pull up after I drop her off. <laughs> so cool. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Um, well, uh, so actually, one second here. <laughs> uh, just need to. Uh, okay, so um, uh, Brendan, can you do the 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 initial spiel because I, I i always i don't remember the, the whole thing i'm supposed to say regarding um code of yes. conduct and all that sure yeah so this is this meeting to record it now it's being live streamed <laughs> um standard code of conduct applies for, for cncf and also tax security um yeah so just be nice cool all right um so uh so, uh, wanted to, um, I know we're right before KubeCon, so I know a lot of folks are probably prepping for that and, and uh, can't make this meeting or, or otherwise um, have stuff going on. But I know that, uh, you know, we have, uh, I think, a couple of um, uh, updates uh, for um, the, the paper, oh, sorry, for the architecture um, document. Wanted to um, first uh, check with the folks who are on the call, if anybody has um, any updates. I think you're on mute, my Mike. Oh, uh, no, no, sorry. Um, I mean, I can go first. Uh, so the big um, update from my perspective is, uh, so I've been writing up based on that demo I gave a few weeks ago and I've been giving to sort of Salsa and some of the other folks. Uh, I've been writing up sort of an initial prototype reference implementation of um, what we've already written up. Uh, by and large, it should follow the best practices and, and try to make it explicit that, you know, um, certain caveats we've had to take to say, hey, look, this is still the reference architecture, but because this feature doesn't exist yet in the outside world or because the integration doesn't quite work, here's the thing that we have to do in the meantime. But making it clear that as soon as that is a, um, as soon as that is solved, then we should, uh, you know, make sure that we're, we're following the architecture. Um, I am down to, you know, and another thing just that I, I pointed out here um, in the comments for it, uh, you know, 
once again, this is purely, you know, based on the work that I've done. This is not intended to be sort of the, um, you know, it is very much up for discussion and whatever. I don't want anybody to feel like, oh, why was this not included? It's more just for the sake of time and my own, um, uh, what just what, you know, uh, and just based on my own knowledge, like this is what I was able to build. If there are folks who think, oh yeah, yeah, we can definitely, um, we should probably switch this thing out with this thing go ahead, you know, we can, we can definitely update that, but just kind of wanted to, to throw that um, out there. And it's under, um, this is the part that's, it's all under Appendix A. But that, that's my um, primary update. Uh, we can go through it more uh, later if folks are interested, but wanted to get updates from, from other people. Yeah, I can go next. So I'm still looking into this uh, the admission controller section. Uh, I won't finish that yet, so I'll probably spend some time today to wrap that up. Cool. Um, uh, also down to, to to have a conversation with you if you, if you want to, because I I've done some of the admission controller stuff, um, just from a demo perspective, like for for the prototyping perspective. So if there's anything that um, you think should be in there, or or if, if you're not sure. Um, you know, I can I can show any of it off, or or we can. Yeah, absolutely. Chat. Yeah, yeah. I'll ping you uh, maybe uh, later after the call. Right. Thanks. I guess I can do a quick one next. Um, this isn't as much as update as an um, kind of reminder announcement. Keep calling next week and, you know, um, talk about the reference architecture. You know, we, we want we want to, to kind of um, uh, keep doing the work that we're doing, get additional perspective, get additional folks in. Um, Last week, uh, Michael Andrews and I worked on updating the the timeline and the schedule, uh, and talking a little bit more about you know how we're gonna go about uh, completing um, you know the work that we have right now, and then starting on moving towards the implementation and stuff like that. Hey, Brandon, can I kind of make a point as well? During the tax, you know, the Cloud Native Security Day, I really think that we should mention it towards the, you know, the the, the final kind of talk because it's it's super important because the, the, whole, the whole day there, I'm sure there'll be a lot of talks, you know, there'll be software supply chain day the day before and then day of, we'll have all these talks and stuff. It would be awesome to say, look, you know, if you want to be part of this, helping to build this reference architecture, you know, make sure we kind of throw that in there. I'm sure you were going to do that anyway, but just kind of heads up would be kind of good. Yeah, and we'll be doing that as well at the um, the KubeCon um, tech security info session. Yeah, if not, we'll also yeah, we have write, we're writing laying some pieces of paper and drop them at right, right, KubeCon. <laughs> yeah, there, there are those several opportunities to elevate awareness. One thing from where we left last call is most of the group feels that while we have a complete rough draft, it'd be hard for others to come in and make meaningful contributions and but comments at this point once we don't have something like quite ready to be circulated as public might might be a little bit of a distraction so all in for more awareness and like sharing like hey this this is a work in progress is on their way i think more of of kubecon as the opportunity for even the authors to shift gears, catch a breath, look at the areas of the paper they haven't necessarily looked at, see how people uh, in those opportunities that we talk about it, what kind of live feedback people get, what kind of conversations happen virtually and in person of things we might have maybe not, not written in a way that is encompassing of, of those aspects. Or if it is, maybe, maybe things like to elaborate in, in, in higher fidelity or, or more detail. So yeah, just reminder that, well, we have, we've come a long way. We're pretty far along. We have a lot of substance in, in this paper. Uh, we still got a little bit more to go in, in terms of polish. And yeah, if people express we need a little bit more, more time, like all in for that, uh, 
don't really want to put like a fictional milestone of, of KubeCon happening. Yes, there's the pre-recorded session from, from Alex and, and Priya that pretty much conveys that, that this is work in progress and that it should be dropping shortly. I think we can use this as an, as an opportunity, though, to basically have more uh, you know, more folks join it, because I think that for folks to be aware, at least that we have kind of the, you know, the the basis, the foundational aspects of it, yeah, I think would be ideal. But I understand what you're saying. We don't want to kind of rush this out the door and we'll make sure it's pretty holistic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. makes That's sense. Right. I, I'll still be giving a little bit of a shout out um, during my uh, the supply chain talk that my uh, that Tim and I are giving, um, the supply chain security con talk, um, uh, as well. Yeah, and, and and just as that talk, like I presume a lot of there's going to be a lot of extensions and a lot of people like plugging in onto it, but but just being representative of like the state because we don't we don't want to say like oh this is this is something that's published it's in its final state and it's it's like the ultimate reference architecture when when we might have some blind spots at, at this point still but yeah super excited that we're making a big splash that there's that there's like this tremendous work underway That's my update. Uh, I'm gonna try before before getting ready for the trip, uh, try to incorporate precisely that that like starting to to add like finishing and polishing to it. I'll pass it on to the to the next person. I'm not looking at the screen, but I heard uh, Brandon on the call. Guessing you're picking on me. Um, yeah, no updates from me, but if anybody needs someone to go through a section document and help out finishing things up, since I'm not traveling to KubeCon, feel free to ping me on a request. I'll jump on because that sounds exactly like my situation. So I'm going to say just like Brandon, no updates, but feel free to ping me if you'd like me to have a look at something. Happy to do that. And this is Axel, by the way, for those who don't have a screen. Yeah, same from my end. Um, no updates. Happy to take a look at anything. So. I just looked at a couple of different things made up. Maybe they made a couple of very minor suggestions, but really nothing to report and happy to jump on or anything if someone needs help. Okay, we're, um, I guess if that's the majority of updates, do, does anybody have any sort of key things they wanted to sort of any key topics they wanted to kind of chat about that we can kind of um, knock out here? Um, I mean, one I would, uh, you know, highlight is just once again, uh, <laughs> I did uh, write up a bunch of stuff for the reference implementation. Once again, this is just purely like based on the work that a bunch of us have done. That includes Brendan Mitchell and and myself and and Tim and some of the other folks on uh, who are working with us. Um, but you know, want to make sure that we get input from others and and you know uh, that. You know, <laughs> um well, well thanks uh <laughs> thanks there for the vote of confidence um the the uh so i'm uh but either way um you know feel free to to look at it feel free to to add any additional comments change anything whatever um one you know just a couple of things i wanted to, to highlight um as sort of open questions um and this was something that was also brought up recently i think it was uh, yesterday at uh, one of the salsa um, steering committee uh, meetings was uh, 
There is currently a gap in the admission controller space, which is just, um, there are admission controllers like Kyverno that can do stuff like check signatures. Um, there are admission controllers that are a bit more generic, like OPA Gatekeeper that can make, uh, you know, HTTP requests and based on the output of that HTTP request can sort of do some verification. And so right now for the case of something like OPA Gatekeeper, where, you know, OPA Gatekeeper can, let's say, make a request to some wrapper API, some query API um, for stuff like, hey, is this thing signed? Does this thing have this attestation? And assuming that query API is returning you the right information, it can um, obviously, uh, you know, you, you can then do policy against it. Um, there are definitely some, some open questions about that sort of thing, because it just does seem like a really big gap today, right? There are some folks um, who, are do, who are working on building plugins for stuff like uh, OPA Gatekeeper. And um, that, that might do stuff like integrate with, let's say, Cosign, right? So that you can automatically do some Cosign stuff from Gatekeeper directly. But there is some open questions about how should we start to view this? This thing is sort of a big gap, right? Like admission controllers themselves right now don't have some of these features. And then also does it make sense for some of those features to be directly injected into the admission controller rather than having some way of querying this metadata, right? So I know that we've talked a little bit about, hey, where possible, it seems like a lot of folks like the Auras folks and so on are saying store that metadata in OCI, but there's kind of the inverse problem of how do we discover that metadata, right? How do we do that reverse lookup, right? From an emission controller's perspective, some of that's relatively easy, but there's also the other problem of how do we go and say, after the fact, we're generating all these SBOMs, how do we know, uh, how do we have the list of, how do we query for the list of images that contain this dependency, right? Those sorts of things. And that seems to be a, a pretty big gap uh, today. Is Anchor have something like that? I mean, I'm not trying to throw like a solution there, but I think there's some of the stuff that they have that, that kind of has some of that level of like reporting of what's going on within the image. But yeah, I don't, and dependencies or whatnot. I'm kind of throwing that out there, but that might be something because I saw a recent paper on that. Yeah, Let's definitely something the link. to, uh, uh, definitely something to to explore there. I think it's called Gripe. Oh no, that's their bone really scheme. Anyway, I'll uh, add. Oh that yeah, in. there there is um, Sift, which can, so. yeah, which can export. So that can generate the S bombs, but I think there's like a thing there of if the canonical store is something like OCI or some other database, what can we do to sort of query some of that either for um, I just want to put three high level things. One is right, we're, we're doing sort of preventative, probably sorry, preventive where possible, right? And that's sort of admission controller at the time of whatever. There's detective where we do want to detect when something has kind of gone wrong. Um, and but we also want to have sort of an audit capability so that, hey, uh, there's been, as an example, uh, yeah, actually, as an example, there was a, a, um, Apache, right? There was an Apache vulnerability a couple of days ago that got released, right? Um, a, CV, a, a CVE. Well, a couple of days ago, nobody knew about that vulnerability. Today, we know about that vulnerability. Um, what, how do we uh, build out a system or how, you know, are there any systems that allow us to sort of easily inject all of this metadata in something like a graph. And uh, Jacques Chester has a really good, um, uh, he has a really good, um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, he, he has a really good article that, or blog article that he wrote up on the sort of need for an asset graph that has all of this metadata in there so that we can do those queries. Um, just wanted to kind of, throw that out as something and see if folks had had thoughts on it. I do think some others on this, but I'm going to let others talk this. So if I, if I understand the problem correctly from what you described is you're looking at it from the vantage point of an admission controller and it's how to teach the admission controller 
a policy of what to look for, but then how does the admission controller go about performing the lookup for an SBOM and parsing that SBOM? Yeah, so there's there's two problems, and I, I think I maybe conflated them a little bit there. Um, so yes, there the primary one is is the one that you described. Right now, the way that I'm doing it in my example is I have a wrapper API based on some of the work that uh, the gentleman who goes by developer guy. I was I don't know his actual name. <laughs> um, about about the Yoon. About the Yoon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, him he the the work uh, that him and a few other folks had done um, wrote up a wrapper API that can do some of these querying inside of OCI and that can sort of use cosine and so on and so forth to kind of uh, get all that sort of stuff working. Um, now, uh, there's, there's a separate problem, which is, um, which is almost like, there's a separate but related problem. So that helps us at the admission controller at deploy time and all these other things. But what happens when there is a, oh, wow, we discovered you know, a vulnerability in Apache. Which of our images contain that version of Apache? How do we do that lookup? Now, we don't want to obviously scan all of our images in OCI, pulling all of that metadata. It's going to be a very large query. It's going to take a really long time. We want something that's kind of like a graph database that we can go and say, OK, if Apache is a node in that graph, then you know, here's all the images that contain that, right? So something that like maybe the canonical store is still OCI for that data, but here's a way to index on that data. And here's a database that does that. And that's something like, for example, you know, I know Graphius is trying to do something like that. There's some other tools that are maybe trying to do something like that, but, but it's, it's where um, uh, I think it's currently very, very vague on how we might be able to do this. At least I'm not aware of, and so that's why I wanted to kind of throw that out to the to the team. Is the question whether something like this already exists, or whether it's in our purview and charter to recommend it and what it should look like? I would argue uh, a little bit of all of that, right? I think. I think to some extent, it's not necessarily in our purview to write it all ourselves, right. but I think it's either to highlight that there is a gap and we should say, hey, look, um, somebody needs to solve this, right? It's not us on us to necessarily solve this problem, but throw that out to the community saying, hey, somebody needs to solve this problem. Yeah. Or if it does exist, and to be clear, I'm just, you know, in my research so far, I haven't found anything, but once again, I'm just a single person here. Um, if, if something like this does exist, then we should start exploring that. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I think the uh, we are recommending the prerequisite for this kind of thing, which provides the actual value, right? We're we're you have to have s bombs somewhere before you can index them. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I agree. We should look forward to when, assuming everyone just magically starts putting s bombs everywhere. Now we need a an indexing service to make it functionally useful for a bunch of other things. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so this, uh, this I mean, it's, it's, this is something that uh, it's a proprietary solution that I built basically it's available on IBM Cloud. Uh, that basically does, like if you, we have this uh, code risk analyzer with a DOCCOS pipeline. So when you build the uh, build your applications, uh, we basically have a common data model where we process this, uh, the, all the bill of material for all the images, right? And when a vul new vulnerability comes, we automatically identify all the images that are affected by this. Uh, I, I can try to see if I can just abstract out and get the data model and everything out. But uh, yeah, this is something I can put some uh, uh, links on. But yeah, it's uh, something that I've built like, last year. It's uh, we built it for IBM Cloud here. We also have cloud native build packs as a great way to perform those repairs automatically. If arguably once once you know those vulnerabilities, you should do something about it. But yeah, like graphs and managing this, this vulnerability information, uh, it is a missing piece. But once you need to trigger something, I think cloud native build packs comes, comes in here. So I, I wanna, it seems like we've kind of creeped this, scope creep this conversation a bit. Uh, 
I kind of wanted to ask a few things because I think we could potentially have some action items from it, which is, uh, I think the initial ask was the admission from Trudeau's today is, um, has a gap in which it's not able to utilize supply chain um, or s bomb information in a convenient way to make decisions, right? Um, and I think this is something that we could potentially uh, bring up to, to CNCF and say like, oh, look, you know, given that supply chain security is becoming more important, I think we need to, as a community, uh, bring this topic up to, to you know, Kaibano and OPA to see whether we can get together and put our brains together there. Um, I think we yeah. need to identify it in the doc and maybe, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think we have yeah. to identify those two points in the doc and then say, hey, Caverno or OPA, tell us what you think here uh, to add your kind of two cents. Because again, we want this, to, this document to be holistic, I assume, right? So, you know, I totally agree with you. I think it's something we still have to like be like, you don't want to bring them to the dance without them understanding what's going on, right? So. Yeah. And and also, I, I kind of wanted to to see whether, I mean, you know, passing as bombs and, and stuff like that is one thing, querying all the stars. But also, you know, if we look kind of into the future as well, you know, would we have to have like in total support in those emission controls as well? I know in total initially had its own emission controller, right? Um, so I think if we can kind of collect some of the information and we can bring it to the CNCF as a gap. Um, but in the meantime, I'm not sure whether if for reference architecture implementation wise, we can do something like we can have an administrative controller uh, before running the, the, the gatekeeper that augments all this information for us, right? Yeah. Yep. And to be clear, I've, I've also written based on some of the work that um, Ad Ayun and others had worked on. Um, I wrote up some POC code to be clear, it's not, it should not be used in any sort of production capacity, but it's the sort of thing that I think also in having some of those conversations, I think one of the high level conversations is how much of this should be plugins to the admission controller versus how much of this should be the admission controller making queries to some other system and just there is a generic thing that hey, it can make a pol you know it can make a query to some engine that contain you know that contains all of that extra data. Uh, that that's really I think um, one of the other big uh, questions there. So to say something again, we we said last time we really want to tighten the scope, not take on on extra action items. If something feels that we didn't cover, we should have covered, like. As Pop said, let's let's write it down. Of hey, we we tried our best, but there's there's a gap in the ecosystem around this thing. We we recommend paying attention to this as a as a hard problem or an unsolved problem, something to, to think about and contribute back to the open source community. The 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 success of this document will have folks want to add more content to it, right? So we but we need to get something out there. So I totally agree with Andres. Is just get that line in the sand. Say this is V1 totally expect, you know, here's some, th some gaps that we need to do and, and move forward. Yep, makes sense. Yeah. And, and I feel we're, we're, we're all pretty gassed out if no one wanted to take on extra stuff and saying like, yeah, we're not gonna do anything over the next two weeks. So let's, let's reconvene on Thursday after next week, see where we're at, see if, if anyone has the cycles to like, hey, if like, the delta, the differential to close it up is like 5% of, of what we've done. Let's put that polish, who's going to do what. And and we give it a turnaround of maybe another week once we've, we've had that break. So meet the, the Thursday after and try to try to like speed to, to close it in seven to 10 days from there. So <clears throat> we'll have the post KubeCon glow, all of us. Right, and then and then beyond that, it's um, I think we should probably try to get something out the door, like that B one O before like you know the hol the Thanksgiving holiday, so like people actually look at it to a certain degree. So, all right. Anything else, leaders? Anything else, folks? Should we adjourn and give people back some time to their day? 
Yep. Sounds awesome. Good no, yeah. like, oh, option, I yeah. need all the KubeCon time right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see you all next week. See yeah, you yeah. See you. See you next week. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Online or thanks, otherwise. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>